South Korea's new president vowed to take a tougher stance against North Korea, and early Monday may have been a glimpse of that approach. South Korea and the U.S. fired eight surface-to-surface -surface missiles, a joint military exercise that was in response to the barrage of missiles launched by the North just a day earlier. South Korea's military was cited by the country's Yonhap news agency, as saying its actions demonstrate, quote, the capability and readiness to carry out a precision strike against North Korea. The South Korean President Yoon Suk Yul, who took office last month, has agreed with the US to upgrade joint military drills and their combined deterrence posture. At a memorial event on Monday, he said the North posed a threat to regional and world peace. North Korea's nuclear and missile threats are getting sophisticated. It fired various ballistic missiles yesterday. North Korea's nuclear and missile programs are reaching the level that threaten not only the peace of the Korean peninsula, but also in Northeast Asia and the world. North Korea has conducted a flurry of missile launches this year, but Sunday's short-range ballistic missiles were probably its largest single test to date. Washington and Seoul officials also recently warned that Pyongyang appeared ready to resume nuclear weapons tests for the first time since 2017. Last month, the US called for more UN sanctions on North Korea, but China and Russia vetoed the suggestion.